All right, good morning from Mia's room. We are spending the day doing a major deep clean organize of her room and I thought this would be a really good blog content. So if it's okay with you Mia, I'm gonna film kind of what we do today and how we, like the process we go through to clean and organize their rooms. We do this a couple times a year because I don't know about your kids, but my kids are hoarders. They like to keep every little thing and then it piles up, piles up, piles up. And then it gets too hard for them to keep clean and organized. So then everyone gets frustrated because they can't find things. So anyway, this is going to be just kind of like a step-by-step -step of what we do when we're cleaning out the kids' rooms. So are you ready, Mia? No. No? <laughs> so we've already been doing this for like an hour and a half. Um, and I'm just going to go through and say kind of like the process of what we do. And this is very real. Like you are going to see all of the disgustingness and it's okay because we all get messy rooms. I had such a messy room growing up and then I finally learned how to keep it clean. So she'll get there. She'll get there. Okay. So the first thing that we do, as you can see, is just kind of pull everything out. So she had a lot of stuff under her bed like these bins she had a lot of stuff stuffed in the corner there and once we pull everything out then we can throw out stuff that was garbage because like i said she likes to keep every little tag and package and everything so we can throw out garbage then we can kind of start piling stuff we can say here's the barbie pile here's the pile of doll clothes here's the pile of arts and crafts so that's kind of what we're doing right now and then also i have a big pile of stuff that we find that's like that's going to be washed i'm going to wash a bunch of her blankets and get those freshened up and stuff like that. So we might even change the way her room is like arranged today. Do you want to rearrange it a little bit? Yeah, because um, Ben organized his room and he's getting rid of the table. So we want to make room for it. Yes, Ben is getting rid of this table. So Mia wants to incorporate it so she can use that for like tea parties. So like look at all this stuff that we brought out of her room that we're probably not keeping. Um, yeah, and we have just begun. We've only been doing this for like an hour and a half, so hour we'll probably, <laughs> an hour and a half. So yeah, this is the first thing that you do is you pull everything out and you get rid of all the garbage. So let's get rid of all the garbage and then we'll start organizing. everything from under the bed we vacuumed it <laughs> and now we are about to move the bed so let's see how this goes I don't know goes. where you're gonna move it Mia doesn't even know where my idea is yet <laughs> no, I need an idea but anyway but we put all her dress up clothes in this big bin here that usually like slides under her bed it's, it's just, still not amazingly organized it's just my random stuff that doesn't go in a whole bunch of stuff I have. Random stuff? Sometimes. Oh, I've also been going around with a dry, or not a dry erase, a magic eraser and some essential oil spray. And I've been getting all the scuff marks off her walls. Cause just from moving stuff around and her banging stuff into the walls, there's like a ton of marks on her wall. So luckily the magic eraser totally took care of that. now and Mia's cleaning off her baseboards like a good little girl <laughs> and now we need to move the carpet and like a million other things but we're making progress good job babe
Okay, now that we've got a lot of that rearranging, cleaning part done, we're back to organizing. So Mia's over here finding after, a spot for all her books. After we're done organizing and all of that, it's going to be done. Well, yeah, we still have a little bit more to do, but she finds it hard to let go of things. No, I don't. I don't. You don't? No? Okay. I did when I was little. And this stuffy bin is broken, so I need to nail that back together. I know, I was going to tell you that. There's also another stuffy bin, so Mia loves stuffies, like, so much. Okay, so here's an example. What is this, Mia? What is, that's a hoodie. That's a hoodie. So instead of keeping her hoodie on the back of the door where I have hooks for her hoodie, she will stuff it. So I have these hooks here for like her stuff. She would rather stuff it in a bin than hang it up. <laughs> that's what we're working with here. Okay, we stopped for our lunch break and I just have to point out that all of these cups and water bottles and bowls came from Mia's room. <laughs> So, think of all the things that you can find when you clean your room. There you go. All of that. I've also been having some oil diffused today. These flowers are falling over that my sister gave me. They're beautiful, but they're just really heavy. Um, I love to diffuse oils when I'm cleaning. So, this one that I'm diffusing today, it's called... It's called Daydream by Sage. My mom gave it to me for my birthday, and it smells so good. Do you like the smell of it, Meme? Yeah, it smells amazing. I could wear it as a perfume. Joel's saying he likes it too from the bathroom. Okay, we're done our lunch break. Joel's sitting up there on the table. <laughs> but Mia's working on organizing still. And we got all the garbage out. Um, the laundry just went in the dryer of all her blankets and stuff. And then now we're just kind of doing the final organizing touches. It's basically almost done. And what are you doing, Joel? Nothing. You playing with the Shopkins? <laughs> Can you open that? I want to show how many Shopkins Mia has. This whole bag is full of Shopkins and she loves them. <laughs> hey, a scrunchie. Don't lose that. Is that another Shopkin on the ground there too? They're so tiny. Yeah, that one's a scanning Shopkin, so you can scan it on this app and then cool. you can be the Shopkin you got. Awesome. Okay, let's finish up. Oh, and we still need to do up here. We need Cause that's not looking so hot. Places for um, uh, my more of my books. Okay, let's make some book space. boys room and for some reason today in the midst of everything we're doing in Mia's room I also decided to wash the boys sheets because um, the boys are having a bit of well we wash their sheets every few weeks anyway but they're having a bit of a re room reorganized too but I'm probably not going to vlog that but I'll just show a little bit of it um, we're finishing off our living room this week which means Chris built like a custom double desk that we're putting there so Ben is going to get my little desk that was out there in here so we have to make room in here for him to put that desk. So it's been like spring cleaning extravaganza, but now I'm going to put clean sheets on the boys' beds. Isn't making beds just the funnest? <laughs> Sheets are made now, so back to Mimi's room. So something we usually do when we're doing room organizing is organize the drawers, but Mia just did this. When did we do it, like last week? Or the week before, because her drawers were kind of like, there was a lot of stuff in there that didn't fit her and stuff like that, so we went through and we already organized them. This one's pretty empty because she doesn't have a ton of pants, but yeah, 
So that's already done. So you get to skip a whole step. A whole step, yay. <laughs> for today right uni <laughs> um but yeah we got mostly pretty much everything done there's a couple things that could still be a little bit organized right a little bit but basically the method is to take everything out if it's broken if it's garbage if it doesn't work anymore or you don't play with it then you get rid of it which is hard for Mia I don't know if your kids are like that but I have two kids that it's very hard for them to get rid of stuff. Um, but anyway, then you clean everything. You clean like in all the crevices, the floorboards, like everything. Then you do any laundry that needs to be done of sheets and blankets and clothing and, any, and anything like that. And then we did the organizing and we put in those new bins there because the bins that she had were like falling apart. She's had those since she was like three or four. Um, yeah, so while I still think there's some stuff she could get rid of, this was a really good step, and we did a pretty good job. What do you think? I'm glad it's over. I'm glad it's over, too. <laughs> and now I have to go bake dinner. Ready? Ah. <laughs> hey, look. Oh, wow, it's, uh... Gotta say, it's not my favorite. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean, what am I talking about? You don't like it? Why? It's, it kind of makes the room smaller. You think? Yeah. Okay, well, let's call in Daddy. Daddy? I think you're jealous. Your daughter wants your reaction. I'm not. Okay. You had a bad reaction. <laughs> Out. <laughs> yeah. So different. What do you looks think? It's amazing. Do you I love like, it. You like it like this? Ben yeah. says he thinks it looks smaller. No, it looks the Go same sit on size. the bed with Mimi. High five. It looks the same size. Nice. I think it's the same amount of playing space. Totally. And, you and then she'll get some there. little stools or chairs there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Love it. Are you going to make chairs or buy chairs? I don't know. I have to see what the doctor ordered. <laughs> that was a whole day's worth. Wow. A bug just came on And the bins day. you chose were very nice. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Good job, Mimi.